Hey yo, what's good YouTube? This is your boy Dr. ZZ and it's exam season. Everyone's studying for the exams right now. This is probably your final year being a medical student or any other student. So I decided to come up with certain tips that can actually help you ace those exams. So let's get to it. Tip number one is start planning before you actually attempt to study for your exams. What I basically do is I take a piece of paper and I write down what exams I have and which days they're going to be held. That way I know how much time I have in between each exams to study. So the first, first thing to know is the deadline. What I do next is actually I start thinking about the materials I have little knowledge about, but I also keep in mind that the material has to be high yield. Because all of us know there's so much stuff, in, medicine is so huge that there's so many things to study, but you're not going to be tested on all those things in those exams. So you you possibly know what kind of questions you're going to be tested on the exams, or what kind of topics you will be tested on. So, so what I suggest is actually focus on those and if they are like things that you're not very comfortable with, start with them. Start with the difficult ones and then move on to the easy ones. All right, tip number two, try to grab the concept first. Whenever I start studying about any single topic, what I first of all do is I actually go onto YouTube. So let's say I had to study about gout. What I would do is I would go to YouTube and I would type in uh, gout, lecture or something about gout and I'll see what kind of videos are there. So what I would do is I would actually go into that video and I will grasp the concept first and understand what the topic is about. Then I would go into reading either from the internet, probably there's so many sources to read from. Uh, people don't hate on Wikipedia but I personally like it because it's very simplified and it helps me slowly understand everything better and then I move into textbooks, whatever the textbook that your school requires. But it's always better to start in this way. Get the concept as soon as possible and then build on to them by reading. Going down to tip number three, active learning. Uh, now the thing is, it's great to watch videos, but watching videos is still passive. Like you, you will be just sitting down there and passively absorbing all the information that the video is giving you. But the thing is, it's not active. Uh, that means you have not really put effort into understanding the material. That way, you switch off the video and it might just vanish. You might not remember it again. So the best thing to do is whatever you learn, put it down into words. Maybe in, uh, in your book, write down notes. Or even better is that actually what I do is I try to s explain that entire concept. So let's say I would uh, talk about, let's take the topic gout again. Um, I would be like, you know, what is gout? Then I would think about like, you know, to answer that question, like gout happens when there is increased amount of uric acid in the blood. Um, so things like that helps me to understand the concepts better. So active learning is probably when you explain it to yourself or speaking out loud. Uh, something else that you could do is if you have a roommate or a friend, you can teach it to them. Like you can explain this concept to them start to finish. So whilst explaining to it, it to them, you will understand that how much of it do you know and how much of it you do not know. That way you will also remember how to do it better or how you will remember to go back and strengthen your concept. And by teaching him, you're actually putting your thoughts out there so he can understand it in a very simplified manner. All these things really help you to understand things properly and keep the things longer in your brain. Tip number four is to study efficiently. What I mean by this is most of the people sometimes when they start studying, they believe that they have sat down there for, the ten, for 10 hours and have been studying. Well, the honest truth is, that 10 hours start study is not spent very efficiently, number one, because after some time the person might have got burnt out, but he still continued pushing and the amount of time, that, the amount of material that he's absorbing is not a lot com in comparison to the amount of time he's spending. So what I'm trying to say is that he might have spent 10 hours studying, but or he would have only studied material worth two hours because most of the other time he would have just been distracted, getting on Facebook, YouTube, and so on. So. The best thing is to block time it. What I mean by that is, you, let's say you're going to be studying for four hours. Take your time and block time it. For example, for, from nine to 11, you're only going to be doing is studying. Switch off your phone if it's necessary or put it on silent. Switch off, close your Facebook, close Instagram and just study for those two hours. Then you take a five to 10 minute break, get up, walk around. It helps to keep the blood flowing around the body. Make sure the break is only five to 10 minutes, come back, and get back to studying for the next two or three hours. That way you have finished studying for like four hours and most of the time was spent on studying and not doing anything else. Tip number five is studying in a group. Now I personally am not a fan of studying in a group because I believe that I could be finishing much more material fast if I would be studying by myself. But uh, some people tend to 
study well in a group but I want to say that if you're studying in a group be the person who is actively involved in the group because usually in a group what happens is there's one guy who is actively teaching everybody and the rest of them are just listening and learning that's once again very passive so what you do is you take part in it you know maybe one of your friends can teach one course subject and then you can teach the next subject that way you're actively learning at the same time and you're also learning from other people tip number six is have a study schedule know how much time every single day you're putting in like i personally study four hours a day i know some of you guys might be like oh four hours a day is too less but i am increasing my study time gradually but you need to exactly know how much time you're putting in every single day during study the best thing to do is getting your studying done the first thing as fast as you can that way you have the rest of the day to do whatever else that you need to do the final tip you guys might really like this have something rewarding to do by the end of the day now personally everyone has something that they really enjoy doing be it watching movies watching tv some people like to go to the gym i do as well um but i also like to play league of legends it's a really cool game and i like to play at least a game or two at the end of the day so what i do is after i'm done studying i have some time left to actually play the game and this way I can actually fit, play the game without any guilt because I've already finished studying. So, so this puts you into the mindset that you know, you'll work hard in the morning uh, with your studies and then finally at night you can play hard. Did I just say work hard, play hard? <laughs> That's about it guys for this video. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and uh, hope these tips help you to ace those exams. If you have certain tips that I, I did not include in my video, be sure to comment in the comment section below and let us know. Also, comment in the comment section below and let me know if there's any specific video you want me to make about. Be sure to study hard for your exams and go and ace those scores. I will see you guys in the next video. This is me signing off. Peace.